Right here for Paramount, Mark? Josh, right here, please. And right here for Paramount. Right here for Paramount. And right here for Paramount, right here. One more time over the shoulder. Right over here. saw the first four then this is all of those kind of in one right like it's just really uh, epic is the only word really that you could use to describe something like this I think Michael brings his touch to it it's you know so many stunts and graphics and explosions I think it's really fun I think they'll have fun I think they'll catch up I think it'll be uh, it'll be big <laughs> you know I think that's the way to describe it it's just a very big movie I mean, really what I love was the experience. I wanted to work with Michael Bay. Uh, you know, I think he's just uh, a very distinct, brilliant director, and so I just wanted to be a, a, around him. So, I mean, I had fun, so I hope people enjoy it. Every single day comes with a new surprise. It really does. Whenever I think it's going to be something, it's always something much bigger and grander than I've ever expected. So. You know, that's, that's Michael, you know, he does that. He sees things in a way that I can't even imagine. So uh, I've had so much fun over the years making these movies. I am so grateful to be a part of this franchise and, and uh, I'll never forget the times that we've had. This is the reason people go to movies is because of the event that this movie is. It really is unbelievable to see on the big screen, IMAX 3D, it is truly an event. So, you know, you can't say that about a lot of movies. People can see them in so many different platforms now, but movies like this should definitely be seen on the big screen. I am proud of them. I mean, I watched it for the first time the other night, and 
you know, when you're in the middle of shooting them and you think, oh my God, I, you know, I'm going to look like an idiot in that shot or what, you know, they go, well, how is that ever going to work? And it all works. And it's just incredible how he's able to, you know, have this whole movie in his head and then, and then, and then sort of put it up on the screen. That's what I'm excited most for people to see is it's not just about robots and explosions and everything else, but there's a great human story behind it. It's a huge machine and um, I remember my first day feeling just a little bit overwhelmed, just thinking, my goodness, I've never worked on anything this huge before, but you quickly get used to it and um, you quickly, yeah, quickly kind of settle in and, and then it just was amazing, one of the best experiences of my life. So from my point of view, I think, you know, I want women to come in and see this film because you've got two women in this movie, both one at the beginning of her womanhood, one right in the middle of her womanhood, both really strong, tough women, independent, and, um, and they fight all the way through the film, all the way to the end, and they fight alongside the boys, and there are no damsel in distresses, and um, I'm excited about that. Michael makes these movies for the fans, so he's constantly thinking about them and, and giving them everything that they could possibly dream of in these movies and he goes back in time in this one so you see the mythology of the Transformers which I think for the fans will be really really interesting. We saw it in IMAX in 3D and it's it's such a good home for this movie. You feel like you're inside it um, and it's and that's exactly how Michael likes people to feel that they're involved start to finish so um, yeah I'd, I would recommend if you can to see an IMAX in 3D if not it's still going to be a ride. I think it's the biggest movie we've made so far. Uh, I'm pretty sure of that. Visually, it's a stunning spectacle. I think Michael has topped himself again. I think it's a richer story than we've ever been to tell because um, we were able to sort of break free of our thinking a little bit. Well, we had a beyond extraordinary experience in Chicago when we shot much of the, uh, the third movie here. And uh, we came back for a bit in the fourth, and the city just really embraced us and, and took care of us, frankly. And uh, we felt like we owed it to Chicago to come back for this one. It was just great to be part of this uh, movie. I play Santos, who is a Transformers Reaction Force team leader. And uh, it was just, you know, incredible to join this, uh, this franchise and this world. And, to see how epic it is and, and to be part of it is just the, you know, the energy that's on set and uh, everything about it is just so big and, 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 and exciting. Well, this I think is the only summer movie to be shot on IMAX and especially for IMAX, which is, you know, it was incredible to be part of that and Michael's so passionate about the, the medium, you know, we had these two huge 3D IMAX cameras. So that's, that's you know, super unique about the film. And, uh, and I think also being the fifth of this huge franchise, which fans already are so invested in, it's, uh, this one definitely delves deeper into the mythology of the Transformers, where they came from. Well, it's a great city. I like Chicago very much. It's a great city. I've never been to a premiere here before. I've worked here many years ago. I've never been to a premiere. Well, all of it. I mean, Stonehenge was a great one. I the locations there, and we went to uh, Downing Street in London, on the Mall in London, racing out, going 80 miles an hour in the car, uh, Oxford, all kinds of places. It was like a bombs and explosions and, 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 and crying scenes and death scenes. It was like an actor's dream, basically, and, and, a, and a child's dream, anyone's dream. So I felt really blessed doing all of this, and um, getting to do it with such cool people was also, was also awesome. We always try to do some visual stuff that people haven't seen, and uh, I always try to challenge myself that way and do different types of action because I've done so much action in my life. I always try to do something visually different, uh, new. So I think there's some pretty stunning visuals in this movie. Mark and, and Josh, I remember a big day. We had 35,000 gallons of water. It's as big as this truck behind you. Three of these dump tanks that shoot out in four seconds.
and uh, they're all stacked up high and they're on this gigantic uh, platform and I'm strapped in with a helmet and uh, uh, and they go to me, is it gonna hurt? I'm like, of course it's gonna hurt, guys. Come on, of course it's gonna hurt. So they're very game for anything. We wanted to set up a, a, a big mythology on this one so that it could go in a lot of different air, go to different spokes to break off, you know, where you can take it. Yeah, he was a lot of fun, and you know, he doesn't get to be funny, and he's funny in this movie. He likes to improv, and uh, uh, quite funny. You know, grand, he's a great guy to work with, too. You know, legend. His wife didn't want me to put him in a race car uh, where he was driven about 100 miles an hour. I'm like, he's going to be fine, he's going to be fine. Rose locked off. It was about 80 miles an hour. There's one reason, that guy. He wants me to come in. Hello, man. Hi. You know, I, I, I joined the uh, Transformers family because of Michael. We made a movie called Pain and Gain. Loved working with him, and, uh, you know, he's the kind of guy that I want to work with and learn from and uh, collaborate with, and that was the reason. Michael is a very rare breed. He makes movies for one reason, for the fans. He wants to be bigger and better and give them more. Uh, and that's all he's concerned about, you know. He's done it all. He's achieved so many things in his career. But to continue to deliver for the fans uh, and, you know, for the loyal fans and also to create a new fan base, I mean, it's, it's a very unique individual. We were all kind of tired and beat up. And, you know, by the time we got to London, he was there full of energy, excitement, and enthusiasm to be a part of it and to uh, to work with somebody who's that talented, achieved so much, but yet is so appreciative of having the opportunity. It's a very special thing. Not Hollywood at all, and I think he appreciates that I come from the real world, so we uh, we got on pretty, pretty well. You're being introduced to a whole bunch of new characters, and then, of course, when it comes to me, I basically, now you find me on the run. I basically decided to sacrifice my freedom to give my daughter an opportunity at having a normal life. So it's uh, it's a whole new story and a whole new world, and also you get to explore the origin of Transformers as well as the mythology behind it. So. Well, because this is designed for the ultimate theater experience, IMAX 3D. And again, you know, it's bigger, better. This is the kind of movie that you can watch over and over, and it can go from the big screen to a large TV screen in your house to a small device and, or a laptop. But, no, you got to see it on, on a big screen.